familiar, but so not. Thank you to Fabric Mart for gifting me the fabric for this project. I feel like along with every other Cottage Royal Core soul out there, I have been in love with silky dresses. When I saw this beautiful blue and pink floral fabric, I knew I wanted to do some sort of like Cottage Royal Core gown. I have no pattern and no plan for this project. I was going to pull down my pattern box and see what I could find and go from there. So part of filming in a new space is figuring out like what camera angles I like. So if there's like a weird background at some point, just know it's, it's, it's a learning curve. Okay, that's, I feel like I can like talk to you guys now. I have the Midnight and a vintage dress block pattern. I don't know if this one fits me. I know the Midnight pattern fits me but I'm gonna have to do some like adjustments because I want the bodice to be different. So let's pull this out. I don't have a printer currently, otherwise I would literally just pattern what I want digitally versus going through all this mess. But perks of moving. Um, I've made a couple really big purchases recently, namely a bed, and I just, I want to figure out what my budget looks like with my new job and living off expenses before I make any more big purchases. And right now a big purchase is like any frivolous expense over $10. <laughs> When the morning's standing at your door When the morning's standing at your door Brighter than no morning's come before Brighter than no morning Don't be late, my dear Life won't Well, the you guys are off. Is that better? Do I just need to scoop back? Okay. <laughs> um. So while this fabric is going to be really pretty and flowy for the sleeves and the skirt, um, it's not quite going to be structured enough for a bodice. So I am going to flatline. I'll probably do a flatline and a lining out of this muslin for the pieces that will need it. I'm gonna cut this out and then I will be done cutting for the day and I will decide if I want to sew or not. That's a little iffy right now. We are all just going to acknowledge that like my life in a house is like a mess right now and I only have one good angle to film at. So that being said, I have on a quick break from work and I just wanna get some sewing done. So I think I can piece the bodice together in like the next 10-ish minutes, and so that's what I'm gonna do. Do not judge the state of my house. <laughs> I'm still moving in. <laughs> than expected and my watch is not telling me how much time I have left or showing me any of my notifications oh I have less than a minute left I'm gonna get a snack and then go back to work I'll see you guys at lunch 
at some point my life is going to be a little bit more put together, I promise. <sighs> Maybe it's just, am I just anxious today? Is that what's going on? Anyway, I need to eat some food and then I am hoping I can get this bodice put together. I guess we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to do a faux shirring panel in the back of this dress, which I'm super excited about because I haven't done this before, um, but it should be really easy. It's just making multiple channels for elastics on the back panel. That is going to be my big goal for right now. And yeah, I am going to have to figure out how to put all of this together and finish it nicely. Um, but that's not a right now problem. That's a later problem. Actually, if I did the sleeves, then I could sew in the, ooh, is that how you get it done? I might have just figured this out. Let's start with the sleeves. excited to try this bodice on and I think I'm gonna feel really cute so excuse the sports bra that's gonna be underneath this what do we think so this is it off the shoulder I don't know like obviously it can be I just don't know if I want it to be because it folds down but like the plan is to like wear it with stays which would help keep that up anyway and then I can just pull it up on the shoulder and I feel like we have the cutest little puff sleeves. Look at this. It's like making my inner Anne happy. Cause puff sleeves. Anyway, like give me, give me one second. So lacing into this is gonna take more effort than I care to exert right now. But like, I don't know. I think it'll be cute. I feel like that gap on the back is gonna bother me but like maybe if I wear it with stays then I'll wear this like that see maybe I don't know the air kicked on it's probably annoying some progress has been made and I didn't film any of it because uh, that's that's what day it's been but let me tell you about it I mean TLDR this is the dress and it's pinned together it's still a mess. It still has a couple hours worth of work, but this is what I've done. I don't remember when I stopped filming or talking to you guys, but we got the elastic sewn into the sleeves and they are like the cutest little puffy princess stuff. It's so adorable. And then I did the faux shirring panel. So this will be like really nice and stretchy and comfy. And then I'm going to do the same elastic gather that I did on the sleeves on the skirt. following? Am I following? Do I know what I'm doing? No, I don't. Kind of hard to show you. What am I trying to say? What am I trying to do? I don't know. The plan. I was going to tell you the plan. So basically I need to hem the back part of the skirt and then put elastic right next to the hem like I did on the sleeves. So you can see here, there is the itty bitty hem and then there is the elastic. But I also need to sew the skirt to the fashion side and then sew the lining in and it's going to be a whole process. So like I think this is going to be great and it's going to be really pretty when it's done. I also have to hem the skirt. Oh my brain, I need to get medicated again. Um, I just barely figured out the health insurance portal so I can hopefully do that soon. Keep your fingers crossed that that'll be a soon thing. Every once in a while I'm like, get it together Marty, and then um, then I'm like, but uh, I'm, I'm allowed to be a little bit messy right now, is like the other part of it. So, okay, that is the plan. 
I'm going to turn on my audiobook because it's going to return itself to the library in two days and I need to finish it and get to work. Don't feel it. dress is done the dress is done I'm gonna go let's see when is the sun supposed to go down sunset at 833 so I have I have time do I go look do I get ready and go to a park hmm I'll figure this out is done the photo shoot is done I guess all that's left is to give you guys like a recap I guess I didn't take any photos with the sleeves down like off the shoulder but I think this is like really cute and romantic and I'm excited to like put stays with it in the future so maybe pay attention to Instagram so like I said in my community post I a couple months ago I am gonna be doing fabric mart videos and not much else for the foreseeable future mostly because I'm still trying to put my life back together and that takes time and energy a lot more than I originally anticipated and it's, it's gonna be a process but I do plan on sticking around and being here and making more sewing content so you know just at a different pace than I thought I would. Um, yeah, what else? What else do I got for you guys? I feel like I haven't talked to you in like three, four months. It, it's been two. Oh man. I don't know. That's all I've got for now. Bye friends.